everybody and welcome to my Power BI report for System Center Configuration Manager. So let's take a look at our client overview information. And what we have here is we have just a general view that we can quickly see anything that may need addressing. So we can filter our data by anything that maybe is active within the last two weeks and we can easily quickly see if anything is non-compliant or any updates that may need addressing. We even have asset management information which we can look at, which allows us to drill down our manufacturer or our operating system which was deployed, or even the chassis type information. We can drill that further and look at when those things were deployed and how active those clients that we deployed on those particular years are. We also have a summary for looking at client health, and this allows us to see our estate in a powerful visual view and drill down that information and look to see where we may have some potential issues. Even with software updates, we can drill down with Power BI and see which particular updates are missing. So we can look at the bulletin ID, pick that out and find which particular updates are missing across our estate. We can then use Configuration Manager to deal with that update and address that properly. We can use that as well within the endpoint protection so we can see our compliance, see any potential issues and deal with those as well. Even our mobile devices which we manage within Configuration Manager can be viewed in Power BI and we can view the operating system that that mobile has or the manufacturer. We can even see the operator and drill all that information down. The great thing about Power BI is you can pull your data from different resources. So here we're actually pulling our support information from Microsoft's support site and actually pulling that in and joining it in with Configuration Manager so we can see what operating systems we have out there that are actually in support or maybe expiring that we need to address. And then we can use that and create those proper projects to deal with those. So I hope you enjoyed the video and you can find the link here on the TechNet Gallery to download the dashboard. Um, there's been some great response from it, so hopefully you like it and thanks for watching.